everybody, welcome to the new Minecraft modding tutorials entitled FME. That stands for Forge Made Easy. Okay, before you get any ideas, it's entitled Forge Made Easy in an acronym. Okay, before any of you get any ideas, I'm sure you guys need to get your minds out of the gutter. Anyways, so let's get started. Um, actually, a few things. First things first is the new Forge Made Easy tutorial series will only be used with the forge obviously we are not going to be using mod loader ever in this tutorial it is actually now known as fml which is the forge mod loader again before you get any ideas mm. anyway so let's get this started first thing you guys need to get is um, java eclipse mcp and the minecraft forge itself so let's do one of those at a time jdk obviously the first link you want to get J jdk 76u I like Java 7 the best, I don't know about you guys, it's the latest one, latest and greatest, it's always the best. Of course you want to accept the license and you want to get the version that's correct for you. Now remember, x86 is 32 bit, x86 is 32 bit, x86 is 32 bit. 64 is obviously for 64 bit computers. If you don't know what you are, it's 32 bit or 64 bit, then you just right click on computer, hit properties and it will tell you right here, system type. 64-bit operating system for me since I'm a 64-bit since I have a 64-bit computer if you have 32-bit it will tell you right here as well okay now back to JDK after you make sure to accept this thing right here you want to click download or your type since I'm running Windows 64-bit it runs exact Windows 64-bit and we're gonna run it and you're gonna wait for it to download in the meantime, we're going to go grab MCP. So you can just Google MCP. And now, since lots of people are going for MCP that way, you can find it right here. MCP releases the Minecraft Coder Pack. Or you can actually look for Minecraft Coder Pack. And it will always be the first link. Of course, you want the releases, not really just the actual site. So we're going to go for the releases, since you want to download it, right? So as you can see here, my MCP 7.x. You can find MCB 7.2 for Minecraft 1.3.2. That's where we're at right now. The Minecraft version. If you are watching this tutorial, if you're watching this tutorial later on, you're of course gonna want to get the latest version, not just whatever I'm saying. Okay. <coughs> so just get the latest MCP. Actually, before we download that, we should finish with Java stuff, right? So Java wants admin access, and I'm putting OK. And is the wizard for it? I'm just gonna hit next, 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 public, whatever, next, right? Since I already have this installed, I'm not going to install it again because that could screw up some things if you reinstall it twice over. So I'm going to cancel for that, okay? Yes, I'm sure I want to cancel that. Now we need to get MCP as we just got here to the site, right? So I'm just going to download that MCP zip and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Download that, save it to my desktop, right? And now that we have that saved, see it appeared right here. And then we're going to download Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge. Second link. The first one is a Minecraft forums thread. We don't really want that. We want the actual MinecraftForge.net. Yes, we have our own. We have our own site now for the Minecraft Forge. And we're going to go to releases. The main Forge download. And since we are not playing Minecraft with it, we want to get the source okay this source so this is the source that we're gonna get right here I'm I would do an ad fly link just to help the developers but for now for the source for the purpose of a tutorial I want to get it over as soon as possible so I'm just gonna hit the normal direct download so we're gonna save that again to the desktop and the last thing we need now is Eclipse so I'm gonna look up Eclipse and it is not the Twilight Saga no thank you it is the Eclipse open source community website. Okay, of course, we want downloads, not just that. So, we're gonna hit the downloads link from here. And now, this is Eclipse Juno. Okay, this is the latest and greatest version of Eclipse. Any previous version of Eclipse also works. I mean, I've seen people using Helios or Indigo, those versions of Eclipse also work. And last time I checked, not whichever version of this you have or would like to use doesn't quite matter either. I personally am a big fan of Eclipse Classic. Okay. Eclipse Classic. Some people go for, oh, Java developers. Some people go for Eclipse EE, as they call it, for Java EE developers. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm going to stick to what I know best, and that's Classic. So just click on that. 
usually for whichever version you are, if you're Windows or you're running Mac or Linux or anything, it should by default, as you can see right here, it should give you by default, it should find out, it should automatically detect what version you are and it will give you the download, correct download link. So if you're running Mac, it will have like the Mac links, or if you're running Linux, it will give you the Linux links here. But yeah, so I'm also running 64 bit Windows as we established before, so I may download the Windows 64 bit version. Again, download it. And since you know Eclipse itself is rather slow, we're gonna go for I don't know any one of these. I personally like using Spring Source, so we're gonna click on that. So this makes it download faster. Just scroll down so we get to Eclipse Juno, Classic Edition. Click on that, download it again. We're gonna save this to the desktop. And this one is gonna take a long time, so I'm just gonna wait for this to finish downloading. So we got Eclipse finally downloaded. Took quite a while. Anyways, now that we're done downloading all our stuff, we can continue and I don't know, get back to what we really need to work on. Just need to make sure I was still downloading, I was still recording there. So now let's get all our downloaded stuff, which is Minecraft Forge, Eclipse SDK, MCP, and we already have JDK installed, right? So the first thing you want to do is make a random folder somewhere. I am personally like making it in my documents. And I actually have a folder designed just for Minecraft mods. So I'm going to make that and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it FME Tutorial. Yeah. FME Tutorial. I really can't spell, can I? FME Tutorial. So inside that, we're going to open up MCP. Now you have to be using either, like, you know, my Windows will open up this stuff by itself. I personally like using 7-zip, which is what this is. So we're going to take all of this stuff, and we're going to hit Control A to get all of it, and we're just going to drag it in here. We're going to wait for that to finish. Exit out. Right now we're going to do the exact same thing for the Minecraft Forge. Lots of people have trouble installing the Minecraft Forge source. It really is easy. Open it up, and see this Forge folder? Just drag it into your new MCP folder, anywhere. Just drag it in there, refresh, boom, it's there, right? Now we're gonna X that out. Now, Eclipse, we are gonna keep this here. I'll move this stuff over to the side now that's already been used, right? We don't quite need it right now. Eclipse, we are gonna leave, actually we're gonna open it up and we're gonna just extract it for now. We're gonna be using it later on. And since Eclipse is rather big, you can expect this to take quite a long time. And I'll wait for that to finish. And copy this over. And now we can X this out. I actually personally also recommend deleting this Eclipse thing right here because we really don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to delete it for now. Eclipse is extremely easy to use. You just double click it here. I'll show you guys that in a second. But first, we need to actually fully install the Minecraft Forge. So I just full screen this. The Forge does have an installed at CMD. We will be using that. But first, how do we get our Minecraft code in here? We actually have to fill our Minecraft code or our Minecraft jars into this folder entitled jars, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna type up app data, and I'm gonna get my dot Minecraft folder and I'm gonna rename it. Actually, I can't rename it. Let's copy it to somewhere else. So I'm gonna name the thing and call it backups, right? And I'm gonna open that up. In a new window. Oh, I don't want it full screen. Let's move it over here. And I'm going to open up our Minecraft folder and I'm going to drag everything in here over here to my backups, right? And I'm going to leave that, minimize it for now. And then I'm going to run Minecraft, right? I want to make sure to get a force update so we can get fresh Minecraft jars. And we wait for Minecraft to turn on because it's being annoying. And I will log in. And you hit, well, make sure you're forcing the update. And we're going to log in. And you're going to wait for it to download everything you need. And wait for it to turn on. And then we're just going to not quit, have it full screen. Quit. Right? Now that we have all this stuff here from Minecraft, 
what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our FME tutorial jars folder and we're going to put two folders bin and resources we're just going to drag them in okay then once you're done with that of course you want to get back to your normal minecraft playing so what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight everything here delete it and remember that folder of backups we had right here all our backups we're just going to move it back in okay then we can actually delete our backups folder. You're just going to hit B to go to the first thing that starts with B and delete that backups folder. We no longer have any use for that. Of course, you know, if you want to do server downloading and stuff or server modding, we're going to need a Minecraft server as well. It's not 100% necessary, but there is a small chance that the forge will not work with it. So we're going to get the Minecraft server. Let's Google it. First link is good enough. And instead of getting the Minecraft Windows thing for Windows, you want to get the Minecraft server jar, which is down here. So we're going to click that, and we're going to save it. We're going to save it to our desktop. And then I'm going to exit my browser because I don't really need to open it anymore. We have our Minecraft server jar. Drag it in, put it into the jars folder. So we now have all of this stuff ready. So now that we have all this stuff ready, we are going to open up the Forge folder and we're going to run install.cmd. Everybody else who's followed the earlier tutorials, they remember using decompile and stuff. We do not use that when using the Forge. We only use install that same date. So we're just going to run that. And you can expect this thing to take a very, very long time. You know, it takes quite a while for the entire Forge setup to begin and finish. So I'm just going to pause the video, pause the recording while this happens. And finally, the Minecraft Forge has finished setting up. As you can see right here, Minecraft Forge setup finished. Well, first thing you notice is like, wait, wait a second, what's this Forge Mod Loader setup start? That is FML, Forge Mod Loader starting its setup. It basically, it's a basically all it does is it just decompiles your stuff and you know how just like Mod Loader added its own things, that's what FML does, it adds its own stuff and it makes it completely ready for Minecraft to be modded. And then the Minecraft Forge comes in, adds all of its special features as you can see all here adding all, all these files this.java that.java and then it recompiles the client to make sure everything works and then it's finished okay so we're just going to hit any key to continue and you're going to press enter and we are done so now if you go to fme tutorial you'll notice a whole lot more folders are here than there were before a lot of these we're not going to be using but the biggest one that you'll notice it's actually been there since the beginning is the eclipse folder we're going to be using that a lot all the time actually Anyways, let's start Eclipse and get to the actual modding. So we open up Eclipse, the Eclipse folder that we downloaded and extracted earlier, and we're just going to run the Eclipse EXE. Wait for this cool new Eclipse Juno logo to come up. And it will take a while, and it'll set up, and it'll ask us what workspace we want to use. And when that comes up, we're going to specify this Eclipse workspace, okay? Eclipse workspace. Now we just wait for Juno to get in, and here it is. So we're just gonna open up this thing. We're gonna click over here, and then we're gonna highlight everything. Just click on the bar, Control C, Control V, Control Paste, right? Press OK. Wait for again for Juno to load up. And it's almost ready. <laughs> Eclipse Juno is actually a lot nicer than Eclipse Indigo or Helios, in my opinion, just because it looks nicer. Anyways, so here we do. We have Java Eclipse set up, right? And you'll notice that there is no Minecraft server project. If you ever modded before, you know that there is no server project. That's because the Minecraft Forge and the Forge Mod Loader, FML, have changed everything. There is now simply a common folder. It's everything common to both uh, the Minecraft client and the Minecraft server and the source which is only for stuff that is specific to the Minecraft client anyways the modding is not to be done today that is only to be done next tutorial so anyways this is how you guys set up your entire Minecraft modding tutorial uh, sorry this is how you set up your entire Minecraft modding development environment as we call it we call it the dev the dev iro sorry the dev enviro see man I can't I can't type, I can't talk, wow. Anyways, so 
that's all you guys need to know. So when you do modding, we will automatically start inside Eclipse, and we will not tell you how to do all this other stuff. That's what this video is for, and thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next tutorial sometime next week or so. Thank you.